one question continues to rise in these conversations of what separates the elitists of athletes from the rest of the pack. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss today here right now. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. For those of you who have never watched this channel, boy, you are kind of late to the dance. My name is Eric A. Bradley, and this is where we break the fight world down, round by round. Back to the topic at hand, the intangibles versus tangibles are the things that create the separation. There was a legend. He was a fighter. Some of you may know him. His name was Sugar Ray Leonard. He always referred to this unique characteristic when it comes to the elitist of fighters. And this characteristic was something that you really couldn't identify through words. You could never verbally say what it was but you knew it when you saw it. You knew when you saw an athlete that possessed it or any public figure. They just have it and it permeates. Sugar Ray Leonard alluded to saying that this thing, this characteristic, when you see people with it, you know it. But when you want to title it, we title it. It's that thing, that thing that has no name. Let's break down an athlete, for instance. Let's start with Zhang Wei Li of the UFC, former world champion who has all of the characteristics of an elite world-class fighter, speed, power, electricity. These are all things that we consider tangibles in the sport. But one thing that you have to pay attention to is not only the work ethic that she possesses, but when it comes down to intangibles, there's that unique attention to detail that these individuals understand from top to bottom. When you look at Zhang Wei Li, you look at someone who will come with every ounce of ferocity and she will sacrifice it all. The difference between an elite level fighter of that nature and those who are never mistaken for legends living currently in the day's sporting world. Why and what is the difference between an athlete like Zhang Wei Li and the ones who pretentiously will end up flawless? You know what that characteristic is? It's not showing up at the gym early or leaving the gym late. That characteristic is not what you do, but how you do it. You are maniacally driven by impulse or a checklist in the sport. And in the world of combat, where there's little room for error. So not only are you maniacal about the way you train, but it's the the, the I's that you dot and the T's that you cross and the C's that you hook at the end whenever you're in training camp. You make sure that you don't leave out the little things because the devil's in the detail. As one of my fighters would always say, he learned very soon into competing at an elite level that it's not what it looks like you're doing on the outside. It's the things that are those intangibles. Paying attention to the book, what we call the boxing Bible, the details are 
uber important, knowing the details, making sure, excuse my French, that you're going into this thing with all awareness and consciousness of what is possible and what possibly can happen. Having your checklist of possibilities, rights, wrongs, preparation, and simplify it. And that's one of the tougher things to do in the combat world is to take a complex situation and make it simple for those who have to give the instructions and the trainers, the coaches, the people who are just in the corner working and being of aid. And these are the things that we need when we're at the point of creating and building a legendary fighter. Now, all of the things that we know that Zhang Wei Li has, one thing that's apparent, if you watch the fight with her and Joanna, Young Jacek, you saw that she got hit a lot. One thing that those type of athletes have that have that characteristic that has no name is they pay attention to what they do wrong and how someone can counter them. And then they drill, they drill, and they drill. Those muscle memories until they're flawless. We take this conversation to a place where we say, in the real fight game at the highest levels, you do your drills and exercises until you get it right. And then you do not stop doing it until you can't get it wrong. Peace.